What does it mean to be a Titan? Titans set ambitious goals, work hard, take innovative approaches, and achieve great things. In the past five years, with the support of all Titans, we have exceeded the goals laid out in our 2018 to 2023 strategic plan to provide a transformational Titan experience for every student, to strengthen support for student timely graduation, to recruit and retain a high quality, diverse faculty and staff, and to expand our financial and physical capacity. Our Titan Future Teachers program supports more than 400 students through workshops, advising, and connecting future teachers across majors and backgrounds. Many students participated in research, scholarship, and creative activities in the past five years, resulting in over 750 conference presentations. The new Undergraduate Research Opportunity Center will further these efforts. Launched in 2020, you at Fullerton provides virtual confidential wellness support 24-7. Since it began, more than 60,000 students have registered with over 115,000 logins. We have reached record high graduation rates in the past five years on all our measures of timely completion. In particular, four-year first-time freshman graduation rates have increased by 53%. For graduate students, we've reduced many administrative barriers, including implementing the Titan Degree Audit. The Graduate Studies Center is now better staffed and resourced to support the needs of our students and foster student belonging. We have increased the number of faculty and staff, particularly those from historically underrepresented groups. The Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion programs has championed many DEI efforts on campus, including the Diversity and Inclusion Leadership Academy, the One Book, One CSUF program, the Inclusive Champion Certificate program, and the Campus Climate Survey. and we just completed our first ever comprehensive campaign that ended up being the third largest completed campaign in the history of the CSU. We started with a modest goal of 175 and we finished over $270 million. The campus master plan through collaborative work with the campus community led to the completion of projects totaling about $266 million. These include the Polak Library, Promenade and Quad Renovation, the McCarthy House Second Floor, the New Student Housing, and Aquatic Center. Over the past five years, despite the tremendous challenges posted by the pandemic, we have welcomed the largest class in CSUF history and awarded the highest number of degrees on record, especially to female and underrepresented students. We are ranked number seven in the U.S. for promoting social mobility, number 30 in the nation for best college for value, and received the seal of excellencia for our achievement as a Hispanic serving institution. We have also received multiple higher education excellence in diversity awards, and were recently ranked number 41 in the nation for best midsize employer. We have achieved remarkable success in concluding our 2018 to 2023 strategic plan. But as Titans, we only keep reaching higher. Together with the input and support from faculty, staff, administrators, students, alumni, and community partners, we will set a vision for the future of the campus for the next five years. Our journey continues and Fullerton moves forward with your help and support. We can build a brighter future for our students and our communities. Good morning, buenos dias. 
Thank you for being with us here today to move Fullerton forward. Before we unveil this exciting new era for Cal State Fullerton, let us recognize the Tongva and Hachiman peoples with our land acknowledgement. It is my pleasure to introduce Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. Tonatsin Oseguera. Tonatsin. Good morning, buenos dias. Thank you, Dr. Alva. We collectively acknowledge that Cal State Fullerton is located on traditional, ancestral, and contemporary lands of indigenous people. Before this land was colonized, it was cared for and called home by the Tongva and Akachaman peoples. We recognize that this land holds great historical, spiritual, and personal significance for its original inhabitants to ensure that we are truly catalyzing change rooted in the social justice principle, Cal State Fullerton recognizes and continually supports and advocates for the sovereignty of the native nations in this territory and beyond. By offering this land acknowledgement, we affirm tribal sovereignty and our commitment to the tribes that historically called this land home. Thank you, Dr. Alva. Thank you, Dr. Oseguera. I stand before you today so excited for the future. Cal State Fullerton is an extraordinary place that serves as a model university where members of our community have come together to define who we are and more importantly, who we want to become. Our plan is guided by six values. They are student success, faculty and staff success, diversity, equity, and inclusion, scholarly and creative activities, shared governance, and the civic and community engagement. These values point us in the direction to envision an even brighter future and the opportunity to be more strategic and mission-driven in our work. Like we saw in the video, the outcomes of the 2018-2023 strategic plan are clearly impressive and propelled the university forward. Today, we build on that superb work by honoring our past while embracing the present and future. And we'll do it together. Fullerton Forward, Cal State Fullerton's next strategic plan is our collective work and commitment to continue to reach even higher. It is a plan where every Titan can see their role and contribute to advancing our shared success and impact on students, faculty and staff, and the communities we serve. Developing Fullerton Forward has been a complex and thorough process that require the collaboration of individuals with diverse perspectives and expertise to come together to achieve a shared vision. This plan was developed with self-awareness and robust collegial and candid dialogue among many members of the Titan community. More than 5,600 people engaged in the planning process and provided their rich feedback and insights. It is so evident that you care about our university. This process will allow us to stretch and to work together to achieve an even greater reach and impact. From the initial kickoff in January of 2023 to our continued work throughout the summer and fall, these collective efforts have been nothing short of extraordinary. To our co-chairs, Dr. Eileen Walsh and Dr. Sue Swart, and all 50 members of the Steering Planning Development Committee, we would not be delivering this collaborative and forward-thinking plan without your steadfast commitment and service to the university. Would you please stand if you're able, and be recognized.
Thank you. Thank you for your time and your talent. You've created a tide that will lift all boats. Fullerton Forward reflects a thorough understanding of our university's legacy and values and provides us with a rich, comprehensive roadmap to achieve our bold vision and goals for the future. I am confident that with this plan as our guide, the university is well positioned for continued success in the years to come. As the university's president, please know that the leadership team and I are committed to making the shift from strategic planning to strategic doing. With the support of the president's cabinet and the deans, we will make sure that our focus and strategic allocation of resources align with our new goals. Will the members of the president's cabinet and deans please stand if you're able and be recognized. Thank you so much. Think of Fullerton Forward as a constellation with academic and student success as our North Star. Our time together today is relatively short. It's intended to introduce the plan to you. My call to action for you is to read the plan and imbue the mission, value, vision into the work that you do each and every day. Not every goal will be directly related to your work, but it will take all of us working together to move Fullerton forward. This takes all titans as we shift from strategic planning to strategic doing. I'm confident that with this plan as our guide, the university will be well positioned to reach new heights of success in the years to come. It is now my pleasure to introduce one of the co-chairs of the Strategic Plan Development Committee, Dr. Eileen Walsh. Eileen. Good morning. Thank you, President Alva. I have had the tremendous honor to co-lead the Strategic Plan development during the past year. As the president said, the strategic plan is not one person's plan. When we set out to envision how we will bring this plan together, the number one priority was for the committee to ensure that the plan reflects the diversity and the voices of our broad university community and that it represents our collective dreams and hopes. Of course, the plan's success will take us all to commit, to engage, and to contribute. To ensure that Fullerton Forward is our strategic plan, we spent the entire year of 2023 bringing together students, faculty, staff, and community partners to review, reflect, envision, and plan. We ran many forms, both in person and online. We collected the university community's feedback and their comments far and wide through several channels. Every piece of feedback we received was carefully reviewed, systematically analyzed, and thoughtfully synthesized into themes that reflect our collective voices. The members of the Strategic Plan Development Committee then worked their magic to turn the rich and diverse feedback into an aspirational plan that you see today. I want to thank my fellow committee members again for their commitment, their dedication, and the hard work. I enjoyed the many discussions, conversations, and at times disagreements that led to the numerous rounds of editing, wordsmithing, re-editing, and more wordsmithing. It was a lot of work, but having lived through the process, I have no doubt that this plan represents the vision of the entire university community. Fullerton Forward is our plan. 
I will now turn to my partner in crime, Dr. Sue Swarat, the co-chair of the strategic plan. All right, thank you, Eileen, and good morning, everyone. Um, our new strategic plan includes multiple components. Um, it has mission, vision, values, and a set of five goals. Each goal is further unpacked into objectives, strategies, and progress indicators. You can see all the wonderful details in this lovely booklet. Um, I will provide a brief overview of the mission, vision, and values. Then I will invite members of the Strategic Plan Development Committee to come to the stage and actually introduce the goals to you all. So here's our new mission statement. It states, Cal State Fullerton transforms lives through innovative and quality education, research, and creative activities. We inspire all members of the Titan community to engage in their lifelong pursuit of critical inquiry and social justice, to become catalysts for equity and inclusivity, and to advance the intellectual, cultural, and then economic growth of Orange County and beyond. So the mission statement may seem familiar to many of us, as it indeed retained some of the core commitments from our previous strategic plan. But at the same time, this updated mission places strong emphasis on how to implement what we want to accomplish. We need to accomplish our commitments through innovation, through the lens of equity and inclusion, and through close partnerships with the communities that we serve. The, missions, uh, the vision statement is new to the strategic plan. The vision describes where we as a university wants to reach in the near future. Our vision reads, Cal State Fullerton will serve as a model public university that cultivates leaders who drive innovation, systemic change, and collective well-being in local and global communities. This vision not only calls upon us, inspires us to become the leader in higher education, but at the same time, it requires us to do so through driving innovation, and I joke about it, not being afraid of change. Um, our values are updated as well. The values continue to reflect the core principles that frame how we as an institution operate, how we work together. Like the president stated earlier, we have six values. They are student success, faculty and staff success, diversity, equity, inclusion, scholarly and creative activities, shared governance, and civic and community engagement. Now to operationalize all these values is not an easy job. It would require all of us to engage in genuine and authentic collaborations, to allocate our resources in creative and smart ways, and to embark on new and innovative approaches and different approaches than what we have done before. Specifically, for the next five years, our energies and efforts will have to be centered around five goals. Now to introduce the first of these five goals, I will invite to the stage Dr. Hak Yung Soon, who led the development of this goal. Goal number one of the strategic plan is to enhance support for students' access, learning, and academic success. This goal aims to expand access to higher education for all learners, enrich their learning experience through diverse and innovative academic offerings, and enhance support services and infrastructure to ensure not only students' timely graduation, but also their mastery of the knowledge and skills needed to reach professional and personal goals. In developing this goal, 
we aimed to reflect the changes in our student population, prepare for changes in the higher education landscape, and incorporate the voices of our students. We wanted to make sure all learners, i.e. traditional and non-traditional learners, graduate and undergraduate students, credential students, and transfer students are included in this endeavor. We, all, we also wanted to ensure that students not only graduate in a timely manner, but also master the knowledge and skills needed for their future success. I will now pass to Dr. Vincent Vigil, who co-led the development of goal number two. Complementing goal one, goal two, fostering student engagement and well-being, aims to support student success and holistic growth in an inclusive campus environment. We want to cultivate a sense of belonging for all students of diverse and intersecting identities, which includes our undergraduate, graduate, post-baccalaureate, credential, and non-degree students. We will also take proactive and innovative approaches to support the mental health, physical well-being, as well as the financial and basic needs for our students to ensure they not only have a wonderful college experience, but also are prepared to achieve their goals after graduation. In addition, we want to strengthen our co-curricular engagement opportunities and develop signature experiences to enhance our Titan pride. This is a particular salient feedback point from our students, but also reflects the ask from our faculty, staff, and community partners. I will now turn to Phenicia McCullough, who co-led the development of Goal 3. Thank you, Dr. B. Hill, and good morning, fellow Titans. The third goal of the strategic plan is to recruit, develop, and retain high quality and diverse faculty and staff. As we know, this is the backbone of our institution. That's our faculty and staff. This goal continues our previous strategic plans effort to recruit and retain, support and elevate our diverse faculty and staff, but more so than that, the committee reflected deeply on what we have accomplished in the past and what opportunities and challenges are ahead of us. As we know, as a result, this goal emphasizes the campus climate that is safe, inclusive, and free of all harassment, discrimination, and other issues of concern. Rooted in our values, diversity, equity, and inclusion, we want to continue to bring in high quality faculty and staff from all backgrounds and create a strong sense of belonging that keeps them here. We will also advocate for and create professional development opportunities to support their, or rather, our professional growth career development, and personal well-being. For most of you, I have a personal connection to this particular goal. I was here when we developed the very first one, and I'm proud to be standing here as we continue those efforts to move forward. And I look forward to working with you all. It was a pleasure also. And I want to thank the committee, com committee members that served with me. And with that, I'd like to turn it over and welcome Dr. Steven Stamba.
Right, thank you. For goal number four, you see the goal is to expand and strengthen physical and financial capacity and community relations. This goal is centered around enhancing our physical and fiscal environment in which students, faculty, and staff succeed and their success can take place. Building upon our past achievements such as the Campus Master Plan and the It Takes a Titan campaign, we will not only continue our efforts of campus modernization and financial capacity growth, but also amplify them to support all the goals of the plan, the ones we've heard so far and throughout. We aim to augment our revenue opportunities and philanthropic investment, and also expand support for externally funded research. With increasing demand for enrollment, we will thoughtfully create innovative use of our limited spaces to support our students and our community needs. Some of you may also recognize goal number four as a continuation from the previous strategic plan. But the one new component embedded into this goal is our community's strong ass to strengthen our partnership with our alumni and our community partners because we're all titans. We want to build upon these existing relationships and grow new reciprocal partnerships to fully embed us into the communities that we serve. And now we have for goal number five, my colleague and friend, Nina Garcia. Thank you, Dr. Stamba. Goal five, innovate and improve campus operations is indeed a new goal added to our plan. This goal reflects a major collective ask from our campus community. In many convenings, the committee meetings, oh, and committee meetings, we heard time and time again that our community wants to break down silos, remove administrative barriers, and also improve the efficiency and effectiveness of our operations. Efforts to realize this goal will permeate all corners of the university and also will require us all to adopt best practices and foster a culture of innovation. The outcome will not only enhance our work processes, but also positively impact our student success. We will achieve this goal through modernizing institutional processes, deepening the practice of data-informed decision-making, and also leveraging the ever-evolving technological innovations. I hope you find these five strategic plan goals as exciting as I do. Now, to lead us to bring them into realization, I invite back to the stage our president, Dr. Sylvia Alba. Thank you, Nina, and to all committee members who presented today and walked us through the new mission, vision, and values, and the five new goals. This work is about the future of Cal State Fullerton. You may be asking yourself, so what's next? In the spirit of goal five, we plan to streamline and simplify how we set and measure goals. Our divisions and colleges will, be, will start with prioritizing annual goals and strategies that will inform unit level initiatives. This approach will give you the opportunity to be involved and to actively engage in strategic doing. This will ensure that you will continue to have ownership of the process and the results. The small, and the big wins will be shared and celebrated along the way. Once again, thank you for your service and commitment to the mission and our shared vision for the future. I look forward to the positive outcomes that will undoubtedly result from the implementation of Fullerton Forward, our 2024-2029 strategic plan. Together, we will make certain that Cal State Fullerton serves as a model public university that cultivates leaders who drive innovation, systemic change, and collective well-being in our local and global communities. Together, we'll move Fullerton forward 
Sigamos adelante. Please stay and enjoy each other's company, the refreshments, and don't forget to pick up a copy of the plan. Have a wonderful afternoon, and thank you all for being with us today.